All right, in this lesson, I'm going to show you a little bit more about creating hyperlinks. So I know we created part of one earlier in, early, in an earlier lesson, but not a functioning one. So first, wherever the hyperlink within your, your website is going to link to, we have to create another page for that. So, for instance, um, let's just create um, from the welcome page, create new HTML, and I'm just going to do something very simple like, um, um, well, let's bring up our tool palette real quick. Let's make the font for Dana, um, the size pretty big, um, the color, um, purple, I'll call it information page. Sounds pretty simple, right? And I'm going to have it underlined. And now I'm going to go to the <coughs> next line, but I'm going to make this a little smaller. And in this case, I'm going to take the underline off. And we're going to go for information on this subject. Please contact your local poetry center. <laughs> um, For locations, please call 888-555-1212. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to make this section black. I'm just doing this for example purposes. All right. So just something simple like that, just so we have another page created we can link to. So I'm going to go save. I'm going to make sure it's in my site folder, which I named My Website Work. And I'm going to call this information page dot htm. And then I'm going to save it. And now when I close out of it, And I look under Andre's files, and I refresh the list, it'll be in there. There it is, information page.htm. <coughs> okay, now let's pull our main page out that we created. And at the bottom here, where we had information, remember before, let's click on that tag, on, inform, on, our, on our information tag, we did put a link in here to information.htm. But we need to show it where to point. This is the part we didn't get to before. So now that we've put, made that page and put it in my site folder, See this icon here, point to file? We're going to click, hold, and drag, as it even mentions there in the link section right now. Drag. See the arrow going? Woo, here we go. We're dragging to where that file is. So it's right here. Whoops. Boy. And then, ah, that's the problem with some of these sections. Okay, there we go. Let's try that. Drag to file right there, and release. Now you notice in here it says my information. Now it gives the, the folder name, which was my website work, and then forward slash information page dot htm, which was the file we named. Now it knows, knows where to point. So now we file, save, 
and then we preview F12 in a web browser, like so. Scroll to the bottom. If we hover over here, it shows us that that's in our website folder, information.htm. Now we can actually click on it, and boom, it links directly over to that page, our information page that we just created, .htm. So there is the finisher to the lesson on creating a link that's actually functional within your own page. So you could have several pages um, like this that you link to within your website, just different pages of the website. So there you go. There's another lesson on linking.